Greetings, YouTube. Kundes here, and let's make France great again! Where we last left off, we were considering attacking Castille, and we're totally gonna do that. It's just gonna be too good. Just gonna be too, too good. What the hell, Burgundy? What do you want? Military access? You're fighting Provence? No, no. Uh, Bohemia marriage? I guess you can have a marriage. I guess you can have it. Why are you unhappy with me? Ah, 16 aggressive expansion. That'll do it. Okay. Now let's uh, work on making f nice with uh, these people. We're already working on mines. We should work on Cologne next. Oh, Cologne's having a bad day. Ah, uh, they're technically winning. Alright. Let us improve relations with Cologne. Provence is no longer a valid rival. Let's name a new rival. Who will it be? Who will it be? Probably Castille at this point. Oh, I can't even name Cas I can't even name Castille as a rival. What is this? What? Why not? Castille, you just suck that much. Wow. Okay. I can't name Castille as a rival. All right. I'll name Aragon as a rival. Who cares? Uh. Well, or Burgundy. No, I won't name. Oh, I only have two choices. But I don't want to name Burgundy as a rival. Although. There isn't much of a point not to at this point, since I've already eaten Barwa and, you know, all of these. Why hasn't Austria demanded unlawful territory on uh, Barwa yet? I'm worried about that. That'll probably happen, but... Uh, why aren't you coring? Why aren't you coring? Yeah, their force vassalized us 115 aggressive expansion. That's gonna take a while. It might be difficult to vassalize him. For some reason, his ruler is still Duke René de Valois, who is the same as Provence, but I vassalized him. So that feels like a bug. Um, Montferrat wants military access. You're a vassal. I don't care about your opinion. Uh, I have more boats. Assemble the entire fleet where it's safe. Burgundy's claiming my stuff. Not that it matters. HRE votes are trying to come towards me, but they're not happening. They prefer Württemberg. Oh, Württemberg? Brittany declared war on Provence. That's going to be an easy war for Brittany. Missions, missions. Reclaim Normandy. Which requires me to own Normandy. That's not going to happen, though. The Pope doesn't like me by at least 100? Well, 37 aggressive expansion. That'll do it. Hmm. Maybe I should, uh, get a Diplo reputation. That was a fantastic idea, actually. Yeah, uh, can we improve by 87 more? Can we improve by 60 more? Let's call mines for now and work on the Pope. Let's tell the Pope we're a great guy. Make him see that. Uh, will you transfer trade power, Pope? No, he will not. Because uh, I do not have enough economic base compared to him. And I'm losing money, which is unacceptable. Um, I should move both of my stacks down here on the Provencal lands until we declare war, at least. Is Castille Diplo vassalizing you? Or are they just not caring? Navarra likes Castille by a lot. Sent gift. Yeah, he's going to be a vassal next month. Ah, that's unfortunate. That is entirely unfortunate. That means I won't get to attack Castille without... Uh... Well, I could break up Portugal and England in that war. Hmm. Why isn't Castille sending the vassalization? Ah, oh, there we go. Things changed? No, yes. Yes, a vassal under Castille. That happened. Okay. So, uh, that changed. How close are we to Iberian wedding? Enrique de Trastamara and John de Trastamara still, so that's not gonna happen for a bit. Can I take on Castille and Portugal? Probably. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that I'll probably out them, but uh, Charles died. Castille has 24,000 troops. Portugal has... Uh, Portugal has 13,000. So together... They represent about the same number of troops as I have. And then we have my little vassal, Lorraine. Aren't I improving with the Pope? Yeah, I am improving the Pope. Oh, it's just that my, my spy network was recalled because 
He's a vassal now, so I have to build a spy network in Castille. Alright, let's build a spy network in Castille. Looming disaster, plutocratic coup. Oh yeah, I wanted to solve that. Okay, give me that back. Oh, stupid particularists. Okay. Jean Biro, go kill. Go inflict bloody murder. And we've solved our aristocratic or plutocratic coup, rather. And they're unhappy with me, but I don't even care. Why did they even have land in the first place? The world may never know. Why did I make my mission again? Oh yeah, the Pope. Because I want that sweet, sweet diplo rep. England declared war on Scotland. That's acceptable. Um, yeah, we want to break Kisti up. That might be difficult if I don't out-tech them. Do I have an advice? Oh, I pro oh, I, right. I'm renting it. No, I'm not renting any advisors. I thought I was. Um, I should, though. Morale of armies is a great guy. That's the thing, though, with Castille, is that they start with an idea for uh, morale of armies. So they currently have a 15 morale of armies that I do not, and they have a military-focused guy. Hmm. Enforce limits guy? You'll have to do. I need the points. How can I fix the economy? I'm paying for reinforcements right now, but not for long. I can probably ditch a fort or two. Uh, like the fort in Lyonnais, I don't really care. Or the fort in Poitou, even. Well, no, I don't need the fort in Poitou. I really don't. Let's delete that fort. That'll help the economy. Hmm, we have the advisor, but we need the points. Ideally, they want to take up four before uh, Castille. Our hair is military uh, focused, which is good. It's like the complete opposite of his pop. All right, come on. We need the more. We need more claims. I'm really sad that my claim here was uh, canceled. But got to do what we got to do. How's the voting? Cologne's about to start voting for us again. Success. Yeah, thirty-eight to forty-three. It's actually minus five. It just hasn't updated yet. That's adorable. Is there a better relations over time guy? There is! But he's expensive. Well, that's not true. He's half price. What? Who are you? Robert Letellier. You need to be my uh, guy. I'll hire you in December. I need to remember to hire this guy in December. So I need to still fix my economy somehow. Still losing too much money. Oh, I'm rooting at corruption, that's why. Right, I got a stupid corruption event. At least my corruption... Oh, it's going up by a little. But we're almost done coring. Okay, and you didn't... You're not coring. But you're also not being demanded on lawful territory. What is going on? What is going on, Lorraine? You are behaving strange. Ah, crap, no! I missed the date! I derped! That's unfortunate. That's a little bit of aggressive expansion, DK, that uh, did not go away properly. Oh well, we now have one vote. Trier decided voting for the Palatinate was a sensible decision. Go figure why. I'm allied to his rival. He has decided to rival both mines and Cologne. What the hell, Trier, is wrong with you? Um, is there any other advi uh, any other vote I can go for? Well, right now if I get mines, I have two votes, but I'm tied with Brandenburg in that case. It's not good enough. But now that we have Cologne, I can totally afford to recall the Cologne guy and work on mines. There's the second vote in our general direction. Let's do that. Let us do that. At least these guys will not punch each other in the face. The Pope has excommunicated Florence, which would be a nice opportunity if it wasn't part of the HRE. But that is not how life goes. Our claim on Castille is halfway there. We will get there eventually. I'll claim probably Navar like Navarra itself. It seems like a pretty sensible decision. 
You need to stop being allied to Austria. We have a royal marriage with Portugal as well. That's interesting. Okay, how's the aggressive expansion numbers? 32 still. Yeah, it's not going down very fast. It's going down by two every uh, every year because our prestige is not good enough. But that's acceptable for now. Oh, we finished cores. Our corruption will start going down. Nice. I'm getting a base tax. I'm totally getting a base tax in Limousin. That is happening. It's owned by the clergy, which is unfortunate, but uh, we'll take it. We will definitely take 32 development. Paris is fantastic. We're still losing money, though. Hmm. I was going to say that these, this as a state might be very interesting, but it would not be lucrative at the moment. There would be still too much autonomy in it. War of the Roses in England. It might be time to strike England, actually. Then I can fight England without... Well, I can fight England and Portugal, but I can't co-belligerent Portugal. I think at this point... Portugal is allied with both of the things I want to kill, so I won't be able to co-belligerent Portugal no matter what I do. So maybe I should just kill England and get it over with. Um, I'm one over my diplo relations, so I should actually not go too crazy on the vassals yet. So Galicia and Leon or whatever these plans are. We'll have to wait until I eat Lorraine, which will happen over time. I should improve relations with them. Um, how unhappy are they? Not very unhappy. Foreign contacts, nice. We're done with the Pope. England must be driven from France. We'll take that mission. Because right now, England will be... He's fighting Scotland, and he's fighting his own rebels. So I'm going to declare war on England. Like the opportunistic bastard that we are. And it's going to be awesome. Okay. Sounds good. Diplomatic insult, humiliate rival, or reconquest? Totally reconquest, and we'll make the board of Borgol, because that's close to Portugal. And we like it when Portugal, you know, gets mixed in this. So we're gonna do that. Let's fight England. Let's finish the Hundred Year War very early. Because our hands are otherwise kind of tied for what to attack. How are the votes? Cologne is no longer voting for us again, so we'll fix that. How about some relationship improvement? Let's work on our communication, Cologne. Place the part where you vote for me. Oh, minus 91. I'd have a better shot with Bohemia at this point. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Whoa, wait a minute. Right now, Brandenburg or Palatinate gets it. England has hired Ulster's army to fight us. <laughs> whatever you want. No, really, England. Whatever you want. Ulster's army will not matter one bit. I'm gonna split this off in two as well. We'll occupy all of our cores. It's gonna be amazing. I'm sure Burgundy doesn't give military access to anyone. Oh, he actually gives it to Portugal. Huh. Burgundy gives it to England. Well, that's perfect. I know where this stent stack is going after. Right, Calais? It's gonna be amazing. Let's go sit on Calais. Alright, I have to escape Normandy first. Okay, we've taken that. Portugal is coming on Bairn. With the Earl of Avranches. They're still not tech 4, so that's good. It's a number that really worries me at the moment. Can I make it before them? I don't think so. No, October 2nd. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay. Portugal's sitting there. He's not gonna do much, though. Meanwhile... Well, he'll make a 15 stack, but that's fine. This is fine. He can't touch us anyway. Whoa, walls breached already on the board. That's amazing. Should I try to fight Portugal? I mean, the fact he's on Bairn is going to be really annoying, because I'll be fighting in mountains crossing a river. And Earl of Avranche is a really good general. He's not Jean Bureau, but he's a good general. 
Is there a river between Bern and Normandy? Uh, uh, between Bern and Labord? Nope, there is not. So if I attack from Labord, I can fight with only the Hales playing against me. So it'll be a tight battle where I actually have more troops than him. Interesting. I can make states, but I will not. This is pointless to me. Actually, the stand stack. Oh, wait, no, I can't pass yet, right? Oh, I can! I can't. Yeah, I still can't. Never mind, I can't pass. If the board was mine, I could pass, but it's not, so I can't. Oh, England pieced out Scotland. He's still fighting his pretender rebels. How big is that siege? That is 26,000 pretender rebels on marches. That's hilarious. Portugal keeps making more troops. I may just disregard Portugal sitting on Bairn and go siege up Portugal himself. Depending on how long it takes for this siege to end. It'll probably be an easier bet. Come on, 49%. Lorraine is building up a nice army. How are my votes? Oh, I have a lot of... Uh, Castilian uh, spy networkiness. All right, we're done with that. Okay. Now, how do we deal with that? Uh, that's not what I want to deal with. That's what. That's what I want to deal with. I have two votes. I can maybe get the third vote. Let's get the third vote. It's a fantastic option. Okay. Portugal has 16 troops. That's a lot of troops. I wonder if Lorraine will go siege up Portugal with me. That'd be hilarious. Yay, we got the board. Okay. Which means now we have access to the Portuguese heartland. And they're not even going to do anything to stop us because they've decided that Baron was more important. Which is totally fine by us. They're like, yeah, I'm winning the siege. I can win the siege. Okay, this army will be split up in two. One going north, one going south. Provence is threatening to revolt at this point. Um, I wanted to prevent, to, to, to stop myself from kicking them down. But I don't want to deal with rebels at this point. I'm not geared up in a way to deal it, to do that, because I would have wanted to turn Provence into a state. But some plans just don't pan out. Goodbye, Provencal separatists. We hardly knew ye. Okay. Now we're gonna occupy Portugal. It's going to be so fast. Are you guys ready? Because Portugal certainly is not. Most rapid occupation. Look at that amazement. There is already no independent Portugal. There are Frenchmen everywhere. And there is nothing Portugal can do. Oh, he splintered off a little army there. That's kind of adorable. We've taken Porto. We need another one soldier on uh, Lisboa to guarantee this. Looking good. England still has not dropped a single troop. Essentially right now this war is me versus Portugal. And Portugal is not uh, making a great show of it. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look at that glorious blue Portugal. A bit sad I couldn't co-belligerent him, but... Uh, Take what we can get. Okay. Hmm. I would like to finish these forts before Bairn falls, but that's probably not gonna happen. So I'll have to go siege Bairn. But that's okay. Oh, we've taken Calais. Nice! Okay. Portugal's entire country being occupied is going to drive up his war exhaustion a lot. I suspect not even. 
Occupied and besieged provinces, minus 22, but he has length of war and military strength because he thinks his army is meaningful. Well, little do you know, little Portugal. Oh, never once ever did spawn on a chunk of your army, Portugal. Savoy declared war on food. They cite eating their Cassus belly. That's fine. How is Casti doing? He's attacking Granada and Tunis. Oh, whoa, whoa. When did that happen? Portugal to Bairn. Lorraine. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't know how you got there, but good job. And now Portugal is fighting the rest of the Navarran separatists. For whatever that's worth. We'll go sit our army on Bjorn. We have a board army. Yeah, he doesn't care about the war goal. He does care about his capital and the fact I am eating it. I have taken Normandy. So I'm going to go sit on the board with the other army. Now Portugal just doesn't know what to do. 7%? No, that was not going to happen. That would have been too lucky. Okay. He's going to get a crossing penalty, but probably not. Is this a flat terrain? That's a flat terrain. It's okay. Is he tech 4? No, he's not. That's also okay. Can I run away? I can. February 5th? Oh, crap. There might still be a battle. There was not. Good. We're hiding in the woods. It is safe here. Now he'll probably go on siege stuff down there. Doesn't affect us though. England still has not dropped a single troop. Like, how is this even a war against England? Oh no, Portugal! You're gonna kill my poor little vassal! He had done such a nice job ninjaing his way to Ceuta. That's unfortunate. Bring her to clean. Oh crap, stack wipe. Ouch, little vassal. Ouch. Uh. I could gain some loyalty, or I could lose the... I'll pay the ducats. 100% of the time. Okay, we have two votes, and they're pretty solid, so we'll take the Cologne guy. Or, wait, is the Cologne guy more advanced? 16 more, 12 more. Well, they're, they're both kind of almost capped out. Alright. We'll take this guy instead. And we'll work on improving relations with our poor little vassal. Who, um... Oh, you have a Charles de Valois as an heir, and Provence has been deleted, so I guess this is now officially your ruler. If I reload, it would probably fix that bug. Oh, look at that. Portugal's attacking Jean Bureau. We got the siege! Come on, Portugal. Bring it! Bring it on! Oh, crap. This is not going as well as I thought it would. But now it is! Now it is. Take that, Portugal. Where are you going to run to? Are you running to Argar? Probably to Ceuta. Maybe I can stack wipe him. Maybe I can get Ceuta and have even more war score. I think I'd have 100% war score if I got Ceuta. Oh, this is good. This is good. I like me my 100% war score against Portugal or equivalent. Oh no, he's blocking the strait. England is also blocking the strait. Well, that's fine. Portugal's at medium enthusiasm. He's not at low yet, but he's going to build ag uh, aggressive. He's going to build war exhaustion really rapidly. And uh, he's not getting out of Ceuta. It's just not happening. It is just not happening. I still haven't seen a single English troop. Ah, <sighs> that's amusing. Is he finally going to drop something? No, he's uh, rather quite busy with his... Uh, where are they? Why are they not sieging anything? Where are the pretenders? Oh. What? Why were they over there? Game? You're not making any sense. Portugal is at medium. He's not low yet. We only have 35% war score, but once we reach out Portugal, it's going to be a lot better. And once we retake Beer, it's also going to be a lot better. I mean, this is also ticking up in our favor, and it can take up quite a lot more. Nevers has the gall to claim Burgundy as a own. Whatever. Uh, reject their authority. Wait, my clergy is fairly high, isn't it? It's at 77. A lot from controlled provinces, though. 
Uh, clerical dominance or reject their authority? Well, that's annoying, but I'll take it. And we'll just take provinces from the clergy very, very soon. Once this war is over, I'm surprised I lost barely any manpower. I'm losing some here because uh, Granada is a garbage province to be sitting on, but it's all in the name of, like, neutering Portugal. Oh, he's lost Earl of Avranche. That's hilarious. Okay. Now where do we stand on this? Water shortage, minus 42. Come on, game. Come on, you can give me my stuff. Is Portugal low? Portugal is low, we can piece him out. Let's recall the Cologne guy. Apparently we capped him off anyway, so perfect timing. Now Portugal, let's talk about peace. Namely the part where Burgundy coalitions me, if I take that. Really? Ouch. Ouch, but it's such a good province. Yeah, I can't take more than that. I can't ask for more than that, but Porto is a really nice province. It's expensive, though. The aggressive exp Well, Burgundy detects 12 out of this. And if I wait the year and I hire this guy... We're gonna wait the year and hire this guy. Well, if the year is ticking, maybe I should send the guy at uh, mines just in case. Just to keep the number high and tapered off, and we'll recall the guy very soon. Fantastic idea. The numbers went up quite a lot with opinion, because aggressive expansion re uh, decayed. Let's recall the Lorraine guy. Are you coring now? You cored it! Congratulations, and Austria never unlawful territory do you? I don't understand why he would not, but apparently he never did. I'm gonna recall the Lorraine guy, I'm gonna peace out Portugal. Uh, do I take Porto? I think I want Porto. Porto is a great province, and then when I go back to war against Portugal again later, I can uh, get more stuff. I'm gonna break your alliance with uh, nobody, because I don't care for now. You're gonna write me a very big check. And can I demand war reparations or just for the prestige? Yeah, okay. That's a done deal. That, as we say, is a done deal. Goodbye, Portugal. We will kick Porto down, but we will not do anything with it. The reason being that uh, the plan is to get Galicia and then feed Galicia all of this Portuguese land. Uh, I need to deal with that. I also really need to unseat Bairn. Hmm. Yeah, Bairn occupied by England is almost six war score. <sighs> Siege of Bairn was one. But the thing is, we never actually fought the English army. And we beat Portugal like once, so in terms of battles, it's not very good. We actually need England to come drop a thing on us. But he's at low enthusiasm, so we might actually accept a peace deal where he gives us our cores back. Provided I don't click on my troops. He won't, but almost. And what's the aggressive expansion? Liège, oh, Castille. Oh, that's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. We're gonna put focus in military, because I need to tech up in military now. As follows. There we go. We're actually ahead of time. Which is fantastic. Um, yeah, the only thing I really want from uh, Castilla is going to be Galicia, and then we'll feed the crap out of Galicia as our second vassal. We'll keep improving relations with Lorraine. Lorraine detected one aggressive expansion from this, I believe. That's acceptable, though. Yeah, as expected, it decayed sufficiently. Just gotta be careful. Maybe if I wait at the end of this year. I can't afford to wait at the end of this year. Let's uh, go on the estate map mode. Limousin is controlled by the clergy. I want to remove about... 
About nine influence. Yeah, I want to remove about eight influence. Oh, apparently I've reached the end of the episode, so I'm gonna remove eight influence from the clergy. And uh, no longer have a looming disaster. And now the clergy is pissed and they want territory, but uh, well, they can't have it. That's not true. We'll give it to them after the after, at the end of the episode. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.